Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. My name is Brian Harry here with you. Happy Monday. Go ahead, good weekend. I did. So anyway, let's get into it. Divine Squad, my little subscribers, thank you for your likes, your shares, your subscribe, and your comments. Noobs, that's you. You're brand new to the channel. Welcome, come on in, your speed up. Grab yourself a cup of coffee. And we're gonna get into some cuss readings. So we last left off with uh, Gemini Cancer. Now we're doing Cancer Leo. Cancer Leo cusps. Let me get my chart. <laughs> There it is. That's right, my little cheat sheet. I got all the dates, everything written down. It's perfect. All right, so we're doing Cancer Leo. So that's the cusps of oscillation, right? So if your birthday is between July 19th and 25th, you're a cusper. That's it in a nutshell. Yep. Okay, so let me just shuffle these up here. I'm using the light Cedars tarot deck. A little small for my hands, but I'll, I'll work it out. You know what I'm saying? So. Uh, noobs, I'll pull two cards. That's your energy now. That's the balance of your duality. Your yin and your yang. Positive, negative, good and bad. Light and dark. Okay, so then after I lay those two cards down to get your energy now, not in the past, or in the future, I will now go ahead and lay cards out to tell your story. And at the end of that story, I'll lay two more cards down, just like I did in the beginning to close out your energy. All right, so let's get into it. Let's get your first card here for Cancer Leo Cusps. First card is this. Five of Pentacles. Five of Pentacles. And... The lover's card. Bow. All right. So here it goes. You're feeling left out from a lover. You're feeling left out in the cold. You're feeling um, put out by someone. That's your your significant other. Could be a husband, wife. Could be boyfriend, girlfriend. Whatever. Make it fit how it is for you, okay? I can't tell if you're uh, doing whatever, but here we go. This is bad one, it's a little early. Cold out here this morning. I'm warming up. Okay, first card of your story. High Priestess. High Priestess is, uh, you know something. Knowing something. Knowing without knowing. So it would be your intuition. Your intuition was telling you something about maybe you're going to be left out in the cold or you are out in the cold already or something. This is what you're feeling. It doesn't have to be a breakup. It could just be something that's not uh, balanced. Little card. Okay. So... You are trusting your intuition, obviously, but you know things that you don't know how you know because with the moon card here is something that is unseen, that's kind of in the dark, even though the moonlight illuminates things. Um, here, I really see that that's too many cards. <laughs> okay, right. I've been flocking these out because they're so damn little. Yeah, they're on a jack button. Okay, so the moon card, right? Moon card, high priestess. That's, whoa, man, check this out. Lover's card, major arcana. High priestess, major arcana. Moon card, major arcana. Boom, this is a major event. This is major, major, major. Judgment, oh my God. That's four in a row. What the shit? Okay, so. 
you're going to pull judgment on being left out in the cold by your lover. Or maybe you're feeling left out because you don't have one. I'm not sure. It's just kind of very <laughs> wham. Can't quite nail it down yet. With the high priestess and the moon, you are you are like using your intuition and you're going within to uh find out what's not uh illuminated, what's in the shadows, what's in the dark, right? Because you're trying to bring illumination to it. That's where I wanted to go with that, right? So things that are in the dark are trying to be illuminated. And that's by you using your uh, intuition and your and your knowledge, your inner knowledge, right? To call judgment on the lovers. See, they're right. There's the next card. I'm just tired of waiting. I'm trying to wait around. This is silly. This is what you say. It's silly. Sorry, I forgot about my new setup because I have a longer table and I have to arrange the cards differently, so... Wham! Hit the like button, subscribe, become part of the family, right? The Divine Squad. Really appreciate that. So, with that, we got. Well, let me move this over a little bit. Yeah. Right. Okay, so you're following along. I know, sorry, it's a little sketchy this morning, but deal with it. King of Swords. So, you know the truth. Uh, you're very much bold about it right you're you're standing in your convictions i'll say you're standing in your convictions about this because you're tired of waiting around you're calling judgment to some shit that was in the shadows that now you're bringing into the light trusting your intuition about all of this star card some major major arcana cards out here i cannot even do with this this is <laughs> I don't sound excited, but it's heavy, okay? So this is how I know this is a significant event. Events. Not the whole story, really. Because it's super cool, because if you look, I'm going to show you real quick. This is what I see, right? So with the high priestess, right? Check her out. She's got her eyes closed, right? She's going under the water, right? That's the high priestess. Psh, you, closing your eyes, going within going under the water, going into those shadows and all those crevices that you don't see anything that's not being illuminated to the light. So you're trying to illuminate what is not being seen. And wow, there it is, bam. You see how that progresses? Just like that. Okay. Amazing. So this is some pretty good soul searching. This is very much uh, of the higher level, you know, the high vibration, that kind of thing. So you're in tune and on top of it. And with the star card here, you are uh, holding on to what you have that is is yours, right? You're a little bored, discontent, maybe, right? Uh, look at her, she's just like, tired of this. This is not going anywhere. So you start, you know, you take this action in your mind to really apply yourself to uh, <clears throat> get out, be done, or uh, be done with this inner work. Maybe it really is that it's not somebody, but it's just you. Maybe you feel that you can't pull a relationship now. Because you have to go within yourself a little to um, find those shadow parts of yourself and illuminate them, freeing yourself. Look at the judgment card. Look at, psh, you see, like her her spirit I would say that is like that's the, that's what you're trying to be illuminated and release it right okay so then we move on to another card <laughs> see some cups well this is nostalgic this is looking on the past this is um I think this is you trying to um, use your high priestess energy uh, intuition and really um, 
like persevere in your emotions like wrap them up like get a grip because this dipping back and forth between the uh, I would say the the six of cups and then the five of pentacles like you're left out in the cold and you're just trying to remember all the good times that you had about a possible relationship um, or that you don't have one and you're reminiscing of what it was like to be in love that's my friend she's more about her she's just toughy toughy Okay, next card. Ten of Wands. Man, it's like pff, packing some burdens, right? Yeah. So if you look, she's like walking away from this mountain, this hill, this trail, whatever, and she is uh, moving away. So she's not bringing burdens, she's releasing burdens. Or he, however it fits for y'all. Okay, so that that works perfect. Look at how the clarity works, okay? So remember I told you like you're going within to get this the shadow kind of work done a little bit. So then you're gonna release that, right? And look. Oh yeah, it's like that. Okay. Yeah. So you're releasing it and these burdens are underneath it. So you're you're releasing these burdens. Because tens are about completions right and so that's complete so basically you do get to uh illuminate those inner shadow sides of yourself and to lay them to rest because you know your own worth and you're taking action to get this done even though you you know are holding on to what you got but maybe feeling a little discontent because you feel out in the cold about not having a relationship i don't know you're looking to the past Stay forward, never in the past. Only learn from the past if you can. Or we are doomed to repeat it. Nine of Pentacles. See, once the burdens are gone, now you're single, independent, um, free, stable, almost at the Ten of Pentacles, which is the complete abundance in your stability. Right? So where are we at here with this? We are at the Seven of Wands. So now you... I wouldn't say that you're like, oh, defensive. Um, I, I, I just really think that you're like prepared for any challenges now. You are ready to um, strike if need be, be assertive and, and take action, um, but it's all passionately. So it's like, it's like you kind of got a fire under your ass being, that's been lit. And so now that you are coming down the mountain with these burdens and they're all going away, uh, you can feel free and, and Get ready to take on the world because you're feeling a little more like balanced, but within your spirit because you went in and did some soul searching about some shadows within yourself. Here comes your chariot. This is your divine Uber. Forward movement success. Really, uh, this is like I said, God's Uber. He brings to you, and so He brings you um, some abundance and some happiness successfully. So that's the story here comes the outcome seven of cups seven of cups and uh, ace of cups bam imagine how that works out <laughs> it's called the sacrifice people we have to let some shit go to order to get different or more things or not more I wouldn't say more but you know in replace of so this is the uh, past relationship now because it is uh, over or it will be over and there's no more being left out in the cold because here at the end with your seven of cups that is having mixed emotions about a brand new start in love right and it's clarity for y'all you and you and you and you that this ace of cups is directly underneath the lover's card 
Can't make it up, people. That's the story. So congratulations. You did some inner work, and now you're being rewarded for it. So, with that being said, hope you all have a great day. Peace and pray. See you again.